Hi there! In our previous video we created a pretty nice Grafana dashboard with prediction drift, share of missing values and number of drifted columns metrics. Now let's try to save this dashboard in order to reuse it later. For doing this I'm gonna need to go back to my text editor and create a couple of more configuration files. So let me create config for Grafana dashboards, then I'm going to import the configuration file for our dashboard from Grafana itself, and then we will see and experiment with reloading the Grafana service again and seeing if we are able to access this dashboard. So let's go down to it. First of all, we need to create one more config file. We will call it Grafana dashboards, and place inside of config directory. So now let's create a config. And that's it. Basically we use the standard configuration file for dashboards and we only specify a couple of things. So let's specify the name for our dashboard, for example, like this, and you can put your own name. Couple of parameters, I will not change it, like org ID, folder, folder you eat. So all of this, let's stay the same and my to dashboards will be like this. So I'm going to create dashboards directory here and place there config for my, let's say, data drift dashboard. Whatever, I have two metrics related to data drift, so I can call it data drift. So I will create um, one more configuration. So let me save this one and create a directory. So I prefer to do it from terminal for some reason. I will make directory dashboards. So going back to our text editor, so let's create a file. I will call it data drift. Data drift.json because Grafana uses JSON format to store configuration for dashboards and panels. Now I need to alter my Docker Compose file. Let's do that. So I move to my Docker Compose file and I'm going to alter volumes part of my Grafana service configuration. Well, before I just let uh, Grafana know that the Grafana data sources configuration stores right there, so now I want to add two more configurations correspondingly for dashboards and for my new data drift dashboard. So let me just put it right there and the structure is very similar. I let Grafana know that she needs to take dashboard configurations uh, and same for dashboards. So now we save our Docker Compose configuration and finally, we're gonna need to write something into our data drift.json configuration. Well, let's go back to Grafana and try to load the configuration from here. To do this, I access dashboard settings, access JSON model and copy the configuration of my dashboard. I'm just going to place it here in data drift JSON file and save it, of course. After I reload, uh, I mean, after I stop and run my Docker again, I should be able to see the same dashboard. So let us try to do that. So we can just go back here, close our Grafana go back to terminal. So first of all, I'm going to need to stop my docker in order to have the clear experiment. So now let me again run my docker. So now uh, I do not rebuild it. So now let me again send some data to Grafana. And let us see if we can access the same dashboard. Let's check. Do you have some dashboards? Yep. Here it is. So now you can see that you do not need to like create all the panels again, but you can just access it from the dashboard, right? Right there and see all the needed values. Basically, that's all I wanted to share with you in this video. And I hope this video helped you to generate some intuition on how you can play around with Grafana dashboards, create many, save something and build pretty informative dashboards to monitor your models.